Um, we've got great news here, courtesy of Resident Advisor. A vote held in Berlin Building Housing and Urban Development Committee yesterday declares clubs a cultural institution. I say that again. Berlin declares clubs a cultural institution. Like, if ever there's a reason why Berlin is maybe one of the best cities in the world for dance music, regardless of what kind of genre you're into and where you stand in terms of the people that you follow, this is it, man. This is it. This is incredible news. So it says the following. Um, Over a year of campaigning has led to a milestone moment for German clubs. According to the Live Music Commission, an almost unanimous vote yesterday was in favour of a recommendation to change clubs and live venues from entertainment sites to cultural sites. Tomorrow, Friday, May 7th, which will be passed, it will be presented to the federal government for final consent. A vote follows over a year of work from multi-party parliamentary uh, forum for club culture and nightlife. Um, they propose that the law is changed so that the building regulations deem clubs and live venues with the demonstrable value as cultural sites they also propose a close about clause for about noise limits so this effectively prevents any club suffering the same fate that bar 25 suffered and so many other cultural institutes within berlin there was another one too that i went to that was black that ended up stopping but anyway loads of really great venues have been lost over time in berlin due to gentrification right um as per usual happens all over the place most metropolitan cities especially when they have a you pop in sort of like underground subculture urban -y sort of place where all the artists go to rent warehouse spaces create their works and create a burgeoning scene start businesses eventually catch the attention and the eyes of new york time writers and all this sort of malarkey they write lists about the 10 place places to go in this location that then you know bumps people up to go there you get an article in you know mon monocle or something and then suddenly everyone in that wants to move over there and then you know there's not obviously because most metropolitan cities are run like shit apart from places in southeast asia there's not a lot of housing or there's not enough housing to satisfy demand so effectively people have to come in and just buy plots of land and build these horrendous glass and steel you know apartment buildings that no one's going to live in just so they can be in and amongst things and then when they start living there they start complaining about the very things that drew them to those locations so it's a horrendous thing it does have some benefits i i can, I can say maybe from the time that i've been living here in london especially in the area i live in gentrification has kind of helped give people an opportunity to make some money you know basically there's a massive shopping center near where i live where people have basically been employed this is kind of during the same time a few years maybe after the olympics happened so it could drastically change people's employment prospects you know having some level of gentrification in the area but overall it's a net negative for sure so for germany to introduce this new law which basically prevents you know some of our established clubs you look at Berkeley and all these other places places that we kind of hold very dear places that are dear to people that work within the industry and customers alike and punters alike to have a possibility where you can be a future where effectively it guarantees the future of these places for you know until the end of time is really really incredible especially when you consider the life cycle of most clubs in most metropolitan cities is what probably about four years i'd say from time from like you know from it being a thing as a building and also it being a thing as a scene right it's about a four-year cycle every four years there's like a new refresh of people coming in and whatnot so to have this sort of thing is pretty much cool it's really really cool sorry not pretty much cool it's really really cool it's very very incredible i have to be honest it continues aside from the culture recognition the sex of venues will benefit from tax breaks be protected from displacement and be permitted to operate in more parts of the city which will, will definitely um be a net benefit overall you know allow people because there's far better or there's far more space and empty buildings like towards the like west side of germany right from like wedding onwards there's a lot more space that you can go out there and sort of um you know build uh mega clubs or small bars whatever it may be so it will definitely then open up the scope of partying in that sort of city and just give people more opportunities to play in different places see different people you need that sort of variety features museum and concert halls are among the venues because of the cultural while betting shops brothels Arcades and cinemas are considered to be entertainment. Bergen alone was awarded the status of culture institution back in 2016. I remember that one. It says here, we would like to thank the members of the Parliamentary Forum in particular for their commitment and perseverance in this matter. Said Pamela, how do you say that? We'd say Schub, Schuber. Is that Schub? Is that Schuber? Or is that Schubes? I'm sure that B is double S, right? This, this little weird B. Is that double S? Schubes. 
or Shuba or Shuba, it's one of them, Pamela, it's called a Pamela of the Berlin Club Commission. She said, with today's decision, the Bundestag is sending a strong and long overdue signal to the Republic. Music clubs are cultural institutions um, that shape the identity of the city districts as an integral part of the cultural and economic life. Now an outdated law is to be adopted for reality. This keeps this helps to keep cities and neighborhoods alive and livable and to protect the cultural places from displacement. It sounds like something that's run through a Google Translate, but still you get the gist. Um Do for Debor spokesman um for stakeholder live com said we are counting on the federal government taking up this parliamentary mandate quickly and implementing the amendment of the building use ordinance of this legislation especially now in the times of corona we need this overdue step more than ever read an instagram post below there's an instagram post there but my things are loading but you get a gist and you get a gist great news overall berlin declares clubs culture institution will that happen in the uk probably not um you know we've got absolute losers in charge you know the amy lammy donkey and flipping city can't run anything so it's not gonna happen anytime soon but definitely great to see someone doing it in the same pace hopefully it kind of will shame them into doing something but i'm not holding my breath